the pandemic uh, started, the Maryland Food Bank has had to adjust the needs of those that they serve from creating boxes to feed families for a week to adding more distribution sites. And now they have added a mobile service to reach more kids in Baltimore County who need a meal. WMR2 News Megan Knight has this story for us tonight. Well, operations at the Baltimore County Public Libraries look a lot different because of COVID-19. They're only open for curbside pickup, but they're still making sure that kids are being fed this summer thanks to a new mobile meal service from the Maryland Food Bank. Outside the Randallstown Public Library, families come to pick up a meal kit of breakfast and lunch food. Baltimore County Public Libraries normally offer a summer lunch program for kids under 18 and didn't want to stop that just because the libraries weren't open because of COVID-19. I read this morning a quote that children are not well read if they are not well fed. That is absolutely true. It's difficult to concentrate, focus, and grow if you don't have food in your belly. So together with the Maryland Food Bank, they started a new mobile meal service. Usually the food bank would prepare and package the meals and then drop off the food to a program site to be distributed. With this mobile program, we're actually using our drivers to come up with a, with, in a van with the meals and actually distribute the meals to the kids right from the van. Each week, the food bank sends out more than 20,000 of these grab-and-go meals. They say starting the mobile service at the library seemed like the perfect fit. Well, they have great locations right around the county, and so that makes sense to us. It's proven to be a very effective way to get to kids who are coming to libraries to pick up books and do what they normally do. And the Baltimore County Public Libraries can continue to serve their communities beyond just feeding their brains with knowledge. And we know this summer more than ever, uh, parents perhaps may not have jobs, um, kids need food, so it's we think it's more important than ever right now to provide meals uh, for, for kids. Now the hope is that they can continue this service into the new virtual school year. If you'd like to see a list of the libraries that are participating in this program and their hours, we have that list on our website at WMAR2news.com. In Woodlawn, I'm Megan Knight, WMAR2news.